Hello students, uh, today we are going to discuss the Macintosh and fill this unerable jar. So this is one of the technique of unerable biases. We have some other techniques like uh, gas bag unerobic system. Then today we are going to discuss about the one of the techniques that is uh, Macintosh fill this unerobic jar. So this an anaerobic jar it is an instrument used in microbiology lab for generation of anaerobic condition or anaerobiosis to culture obligates anaerobes such as clostridium species then the anaerobiosis obtained by macintosh and fill this anaerobic jar is one of the excellent and most widely used method of anaerobiosis but it requires costly special apparatus and vacuum pump. So the availability of gas supply is another major drawback of this system. Currently, it is being replaced by more convenient gas bag system. So here we have the equipment. Equipment. So let's see what what are the things we have in this equipment. So this Macintosh and fill this jar consists of a 8, eight into 5 inch jar of stout glass or metal with a tight fitting metal lid. The lid can be clamped airtight with a screw and is fitted with two tubes with tabs, one for introduction of gas inside that is the inlet and the other as outlet for vacuum valve. Then the lead also contains two terminals that uh, can be connected to an electric supply. Then we have a capsule containing alumina pellets coated with palladium or palladiumished alumina which is suspended under the lead by stout wires which are then connected with the terminals to heat the catalyst for its activity so nowadays this catalyst active is active at room temperature like I mean it is also available at room temperature so that's all about the equipment then what is the principle behind this this uh, Macintosh and fill this an aerobic jar works on the principle of evacuation and replacement where the air inside the chamber is evacuated and replaced with mixture of gases that consist of 5% carbon dioxide and 85% um, nitrogen then it is practically impossible to evacuate all the air so some amount of oxygen will still be left behind so what happened the residual oxygen left behind is converted to water using a spongy palladium or platinum catalyst then the catalyst acts as a catalyzing agent causing slow combination of hydrogen and oxygen to form water then we have a methylene reduced methylene blue which is generally used as an indicator this becomes colorless anaerobically but regains blue color on exposure to oxygen so next we have is the procedure what are the steps involved First of all, we keep the inoculated culture plates inside the jar along with an indicator. Then we screw tight the lid. We close the inlet tube and connect outlet tube to a vacuum pump. At least three quarters of the air of the jar can be removed. Then note the pressure on the vacuum gouge. And when the pressure is reduced to 100 mm mercury, that is 600 mm below atmospheric, we will tightly close the outlet tab then after that connect the inlet tab to a hydrogen supply and then open it then the hydrogen is passed through a small wash bottle 
then we'll bring the reduced pressure up to 760 mm or grey that is atmospheric by monitoring on the vacuum ga gouge as zero then we switched on the electric terminals for heating the palladinized crystal when room temperature catalyst is used heating is not required keep this in mind then the catalyst this catalyst helps the combination of hydrogen and residual residual oxygen to form water this process is allowed to continue for about 20 minutes then we incubate the jar the macintosh and fill this jar in an incubator at 37 degrees celsius for 48 hours so this is how the macintosh and fill this jar looks like so for monitoring efficacy of an aerobiases reduced methylene blue indicator is used to check the efficacy of an aerobiases here a tube containing reduced methylene blue solution had to get inside the jar along with the culture plates then we will see methylene blue is colorless colorless in reduced conditions and turns blue when it is oxidized so that's all about macintosh and fill this jar an aerobic jar thank you